Hello, and welcome to something completely different from everything we've done before here on Mr. Red Plays the channel. Uh, what we do here is we play video games usually, but today we're doing something a little bit different. We're gonna take you back to a time that's simpler, a time that was more before now. Uh, we're gonna go back to a time when I was younger and I was a wee little tyke, and what I would do is I would spend hours going through this website that I like to call Stumble Upon. Now this was a website which you would just press the button, you'd press stumble, and it would take you to some random website, some random web page that was always, you know, it was, it was like curated a little bit to what you like. We're gonna be going through it. Now, when I looked it up, apparently it's been uh, changed to this thing called Mix here, which I don't really understand. I guess it's, it's the same thing, it's just, you know, uh, different owners, different name, it's kind of a different thing, but it's the same thing. So, you press this button up here and it'll take you to the next recommendation, and that'll just be some random website. So, we're gonna try it out, we're gonna see how this goes, it's gonna be fun, we're gonna stumble upon some stuff. Next recommendation! It's a YouTube video! The ultimate sweet and sour and spicy chicken at home, Sam the Cooking Guy! Let's see what Sam has to say for himself. Hold on to your shorts because we're making okay. one of my favorite old school Chinese recipes, sweet and sour chicken. Oh, I Round can't wait. Applause. Oh, that looks good. Okay, you're cutting them up. That's that's a lot smaller than I usually oh, cut them up. Just a little more. Sometimes Just we cut them up into like strips right? and then we take them for our lunches and everything. And that's, yeah, I like that. That's Same delicious. Okay, some onions. First you're gonna want to get those out of there. Loop. I don't I don't have any business with those onions. All right, that looks, that, that, that looks delicious already. Nah, never mind. You ruined it. Yeah. Rice vinegar. Oh, writing this down. All right, I'm mixing it up. That's good. All right, looks good. What what's important in here? Wait. Help in the form of a tablespoon of cornstarch. Okay. They're not my thighs. They're chicken thighs. But yes. So here's what we Thanks for the clarification. So one is a quick. Chopping them up. Just kind of getting them ready. We, we all know how to make chicken. Oh, uh, there's earbuds. It's an ad. Don't listen to this. It's an ad. Okay. And we'll probably do Could this, do this. In two sessions because Oh, oh, two se we got to do this the in the next session, you guys. Whoa. Kind of thing, My uh video cannot sure render what's happening right now and I'm sure it's not it's capturing delicious. correctly either. Ow. All right, this looks good. Careful there, guy. So here's our sauce. Yeah, yeah, the sauce, the sauce. Handful of the chicken. Okay. But I have another idea. Oh my god, this looks great. This looks, looks like orange chicken. It looks this? just like orange chicken. I got some chives, some onions in there. Well, not onions, chives. Different things, kind of. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, my God. This Mother is so good looking. Mother. By the way, that was F -U -E I want this again. I might I'm, I might come back to this. How do you add that? What do you, so what do we do now? Uh, you're seeing this because you're interested in cooking. By the way, it, it asks you to set up all your different uh, things that you're interested in. I chose everything. I literally chose everything. Uh, let's save this. Mix this? What the hell? Mix this? just like it i don't know there we go all right well let's see what else there is let's let's go to next oh look at this glamour the 41 most memorable red carpet looks from the past decade perfect let's check it out first of all oh gaga's meat suit who can whomst amongst us can forget whomst amongst us can forget 2010 the meat suit it was iconic it was a it was it was a it was a look it was a banger before we had bangers what else do we got? All right, this one, less memorable. N no one's gonna remember a dress when they could have a meat dress, you know what I mean? Oh, that looks great. I would wear this. Billy Porter. Billy, I wanna wear this to my next, for the next episode. Next episode of Mr. Ed Plays. <laughs> no, I, I I won't. All right, Angelina, looking good, looking sharp. I like the little leg kick out there. I'm not gonna look at every one of these, obviously. I, well, I'm not gonna look at every one of these, obviously, because who has the time? Oh, the Me Too movement, right? Everyone wore in black. This was good. This was good. Not that it happened, or that it had to happen, but that it did happen. I guess. Oh, look at this. Look, look, look at Jennifer Lawrence here. This dress, this color here. I don't know what's happening. It's all one color. Like usually, it's like a cartoon. Usually, when you see like a real thing. <laughs> Like, there's, like, shades to it, you know? Like, look at this carpet. Look at the carpet. There's, like, different shades. Even as it goes, you can, like, see the color kind of change. This is, like... Have you ever seen Vanta Black? Well, let's look it up. All right, here we go. This is Vanta Black. It is, it is so pervasively black that you can't even see, like, you know, stuff. You can't even see it. <laughs> like, your mind just says it's all one mass, even though it's, it's, it's different stuff. Like, it's, it's, it's wild. Whoa! 
It's so weird to look at. So that's Vanta Black. Uh, uh, it's it's similar. You know what I mean? Ooh, that looks like a bed. <laughs> that looks like a bed ruffle. Oh, of course, Lady Baba. Lady Baba. <laughs> Lady Baba is an egg. Who could forget? Who could forget? Gaga. She. There was a long time, 2010, 2011 times where she was just going for it. You know what I mean? I don't know that she's still doing this. I haven't heard much about Gaga in the last couple days. Carrie! All right, that's fun. I like that she's like mid-step too. That's that's a fun picture. She's like in the middle of leaping up onto this step. Ah, Kate. This is something she would wear in one of her in one of in one of her movies. Alright, a bunch of kind of normal looking things so far. Oh, hello! Zendaya! What is this? What's happening here? All right, so these look to me like they're little legs, like separate from her actual legs. So I'm thinking this is like supposed to be an Alice in Wonderland character. I'm thinking that this is like her, the body of the Alice in Wonderland character. And then these are little legs and they kind of go down and this character flies, I'm imagining. So it's a flying character with dangly legs that never, you don't, you don't use them. They just dangle and whatever's going on up here. So that's, that's what I think this character is. I'm not sure. Oh, hello. This is neat. Oh, this is cool. This is something that like royalty would wear, you know, in like the 1800s. You'd see it in like a Game of Thrones show. They'd like throw it off and then they'd condemn someone to death. This is what they'd be wearing. I love it. Ooh, this is cool. This is like whenever you've seen somebody make something out of pennies. It looks kind of like this. Margot, Margot Robbie. Ooh, I like this. I've always liked, you know, the off-center kind of looks where it was like kind of kind of off. It's not symmetrical, you know. It's it's kind of like this where like one of the one of the shoulders is different than the other. And the other one has a sleeve and this one doesn't. That's neat too. One a single sleeve. That's always a good look. All right, I'm not sure what I'm looking at here. I'm not sure what I'm looking at here. I feel like this picture is part of a lie. I got a strong feeling that, that this isn't how this looks in real life. You know what I mean? Oh, is that it? All right, I guess that's that's a look. Well, yeah, there's a lot of really cool looks going on here. I like this a lot. This is neat. Um, let's, let's, let's see what else there is to see. All right, take action for health guides, black Americans through health risks. I'm not sure. I'm not sure about this headline. Oh, maybe it's take action for health guides black Americans through health risks. That's good. Good job, good, good job, take action for health. Okay. I'm not sure what we're doing here. I don't know what this is. This might be like a stock thing or like a blockchain thing. It's a block explorer and analytics platform for Ethereum, a decentralized smart contracts platform. Uh, I'm worried I'm gonna get arrested for some of this. All right, here we go. Let's find out what the most hyped sneakers of the decade are. I, I gotta find it. From Red Octobers to Yeezy Boosts, here are the shoes that made people lose their minds and wallets. All right, so the Air Jordan XI Concord. That just kind of looks like a shoe. I gotta be honest, I'm not too blown away by this shoe. This is a little bit like just a shoe. You just put this on and wear it. I mean, yeah, it's cool that it's got like multiple straps and everything, but at the end of the day, it's just a shoe. 2011, not a big year for shoes. Now this, this is a neat looking shoe. This I like, this is neat. It's got, it's got some character to it. It's got some flavor. I feel like you could lick this shoe. It tastes like an Oreo. Ah, this one I like, Sean Watherspoon. I like just the name, just the name alone is good, but it's a neat looking shoe. I like these colors a lot. This, this is like, I don't know, kind of, kind of salmon color here. And yes, I do say salmon with the, with the hard L. Uh, this blue, I like I like these colors. These are nice colors. All right, this is a throwback. Throwback to the 90s. I feel like they'd wear this on Rocket Power. I'm, I'm into that. Whoa, we got a space shoe. This I'm into, it's 2011. I see what's going on now. 2011 spent all of its, uh, spent all of its ammunition on, on, on this shoe. So they didn't have enough for the other shoes up there. That's a neat looking shoe. This one does not seem kind of, this is more of a boot than anything. Yeah, this is, this is more of a boot than anything. Okay, here we go. This looks comfy. This looks cozy. I'd wear this. It looks like it keep you warm. It's pretty good. Oh, here we go. Nike Air Yeezy 2 Red October. That doesn't look very comfortable. I don't think I would wear that shoe. How can you recover from a bounce check? We'll never know. I'm never going to be financially secure, so why try? This is getting sad now. How to wear color in the winter and nail it. I, know, I feel like you just put it on. You just wear it. Just wear the color. I don't know. All of these are are fashion ones so far. Like I know that I fashion's one of the things that I said. 
but it's all giving me fashion. Okay, seven ways. Here we go. This, this, this is good. Seven ways Victorian fashion could kill you. This we gotta know. Well, number one, poisonous dyes. Yeah, that that got the Tin Man for sure. So it's gonna get Victorians. Uh, pestilential fabrics. It's gotta be the same thing, right? Flowing skirts. Yeah, no capes. Yeah, long. It's also unfortunate combination with carriages and animals. Really gonna gonna elaborate on that or no? All right. Uh, flammable fabrics. Okay, kind of double dipping into the pestilent ones and everything. Arsenic ridden taxidermy, taxidermy, darmanar, nanar, mercury, lead. Yeah, so it's just bad chemicals. Let's see how many of these are the same thing. Lead, mercury, arsenic, flammable, pestilence, and poisonous dyes. I would say those are all the same category. So really what we have is, is, is two ways the Victorian fabric can kill you. But hey, I'm not the editor-in-chief. All right, ranking all of Supreme's Nike collaborations from worst to best. I'm not going that. There's more Nike shoes. I, I'm, I'm done with them. If you're so smart, why aren't you rich? Turns out it's just chance. All right, you know what we're going to do? We're going we're gonna to change our interests a little bit. I'm going to change it up. I don't want all these. For one thing, let's turn off fashion because I'm getting a lot of fashion. Yeah, you're no longer following fashion. There was one, here's what we're gonna do. Let's let's try to uncheck everything. Cause there's a thing on here. There's there's one that I really wanna get to. All right, I can't find it. So uh, there's a thing, there was a setting when I was first signed up that was like oddities. And I can't seem to find that anymore. I searched for it, it doesn't exist. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to flip through these. And in the next episode, that's right, we're doing it again. Uh, we're gonna have this more refined for stuff that is interesting and fun. So that'll be interesting and fun to look forward to. Uh, see you then, everybody. Until then, I've been Mr. Red. Keep watching.